What's up, Queen Divas and Kings? Today I have some caramel wrap pretzels that I am going to do today. So make sure you go ahead and get out your ingredients. But first, let me introduce myself. I am the DIY Queen Diva. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep updated with me and all of my videos on the weekends. You need your pretzel rods, I got those from Aldi's, your caramels, I got those from Walmart, your Almond Bark, Walmart, and of course your color to color the chocolate. Um, I am going to use this color meal. Um, it never goes wrong. I never have any issues with color meal when I'm coloring chocolate. And then I have my molds. I have my bow and my teddy bear mold. And of course you need a tall cup or glass to dip your pretzel rods in. So I get about three caramel blocks each for each pretzel. And then I roll it out um, until it gets thin, about 12 inches. So you just want to make sure all your rolls are the same size. So I am going to roll all of my caramel rolls to about 12 inches. I don't know about you, but sometimes I have to stand up to do my treats. Okay, so I have all of my caramel rolls about the same size, 12 inches. Now I am going to move these to the side and get ready to wrap each pretzel with my caramel rolls. So you take a pretzel rod and you get your caramel roll and you pinch the top towards the back. You pinch the caramel on the pretzel to secure the caramel on the pretzel. And you just take your caramel roll and you just wrap it around your pretzel. When you're at the end, you just pinch the end to the pretzel. So now I am going to wrap all of my pretzels and then dip my pretzels in the chocolate. Now it's time to dip your pretzels in your chocolate. So I'm taking my pretzel rod and dipping it in the chocolate. Now I am bringing my pretzel rod up and just let the chocolate drizzle off the pretzel rod. Then place it on your parchment paper. So with the rose color meal coloring i colored my chocolate and now i am dipping my pretzels pink so color meal i never have any issues with it i am going to use uh, sunny side up soft pink and i am going to use um sunny side up this is a chocolate. This is an um, old label they used to have, but this is chocolate. Okay, so I'm using soft pink Hobby Lobby brands and chocolate. And this is what looks like chocolate and soft pink. So first I'm gonna put a drop of chocolate. I think this is 
too much. So I may just add some more fondant here. I want it to be a light color. Well, this is the tan color. So this is the tan color. And now I am going to use the soft pink. And just one drop is all you need. And that's the soft pink. And this is the result. I could have probably used less coloring, but let's go ahead and get our fondant in our bow mold. Anytime I use fondant, I'll use my fondant tools to help me put my fondant. And um, it, it's just much better to use when you're dealing with fondant when you're using silicone molds. So just make sure you have some fondant tools um, nearby to work with your fondant. You can place your fondant on your pretzel by adding a dab of chocolate or either a dab of water on the back of the bow or the fondant piece. Now I am placing my fondant in the silicone molds. And once I am done with the teddy bear molds or the teddy bear fondant, I will place all of my fondant on my pretzels and then I'm pretty much done. Okay, Queen Divas and Kings, don't forget to like and share my video. And don't forget to tell your family and friends about my channel. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.